In this video, we are going to discuss example 15. Find the domain and range of the following functions. Hence, state their domain and range of the inverse functions respectively. Here, we are going to use graphical method to find the domain and range. Question A. Given the function f is square root 5 minus x. Now, we are going to let 5 minus x is greater or equal 0. This is because we know that the values inside the square root must be positive. Now, let us get the x. So we get x is less or equal 5. This means the starting values for the graph is x equal to 5. Now, we are going to substitute x equal to 5 into the function f in order to find the values of y. So we get y equal to 0. So the coordinate for the starting point is 5, 0. Next, let us find the y-intercept. So when x equal to 0, we get y equal to 3rd 5 minus 0, which is equal to 3rd 5. So the coordinate is 0, 3rd 5. Now, we are going to put this coordinate into the graph. So the first coordinate is 5, 0. And the second is 0, 3rd 5. Now, we are going to draw a smooth curve that passes through these two points. Based on the graph, we can observe that the graph extends horizontally from 5 to the left without bound. So, the domain is negative infinity 5. Next, we observe that the graph starts from 0 and keep increasing forever as we move up to the left. So the range is 0, infinity. After we get the domain and range of the function f, now we are moving on to get the domain and range of the inverse function. We are going to apply the properties of inverse function, where the domain of f inverse is equal to the range of f and the range of f inverse is equal to domain of f. Next, let's move on to question B. Given the function g is 2 over x minus 3, where x is not equal to 3. This is a reciprocal function. Now, let us find the vertical asymptote and the horizontal asymptote of this function. So the vertical asymptote is when the denominator equal to 0. So x equal to 3. And the horizontal asymptote for this function is y equal to 0. Now, let's put these asymptotes into the graph. Next, we need to find the y-intercept. So when x is equal to 0, the y value is equal to 
2 over 0 minus 3 is equal to negative 2 over 3. So the coordinate of this intercept is 0, negative 2 over 3. Now, let us put this coordinate into the graph. Now, we are going to draw a smooth curve that passes through this point. Based on the graph, we clearly see that the domain is any real number except 3. So the domain G is negative infinity 3 union 3 infinity. 3 is not included. So for the range is any real number except 0. So the range of G is negative infinity 0 union 0 infinity. The 0 is not included. After we get the domain and range of the function G, now we are moving to get the domain and range of the inverse function. Same as previous question, we will apply the properties of the inverse function. So, the domain of G inverse is equal to the range of G. And the range of G inverse is equal to the domain of G. Well, that's it. Thank you.